We're here with Calvin Hopkins, who's the Labour Member of Parliament for Luton North, and we're asking him his opinion on Mr Cameron's recent referendum um, proposals and renegotiations with the European Union. Indeed. Well, um, I was absolutely delighted by the Prime Minister's decision to um, propose a, a, an in-app referendum for the European Union um, for Britain's membership and I think it was a major victory for People's Pledge, an organisation I was a member of, a multi-party organisation, um, and we were campaigning and I must say it was slightly unexpected. We, we were expecting a harder battle to get a referendum. We're now going to get a referendum. I hope all parties will actually um, support that. Uh, and I personally will be voting no in the referendum because I believe Britain ought to re-establish its democracy at Westminster rather than be governed by the bureaucratic regime in Brussels, the, the European Commission. So, uh, as I say, I'm, I'm delighted. Um, and when we can, I think, have a, the, the referendum, I hope people will vote to uh, re-establish Britain's democracy at Westminster, as I say. The great advantage of which, of course, is that when we have elections, we can actually change the government. We can actually, if we want to have a Labour government, we can vote Labour, if we want a Conservative government, and we vote Conservative. Um, but it means that the people have a choice. It is a genuine people's choice. We can have all sorts of elections in, within the European Union, but it's the essence of the European Union, the supra supranational arrangements stay in place and very little will change because of the elections taking place in the European Union. So, it is fundamentally undemocratic and less democratic at least than, than, than national parliaments. I hope indeed that other parliaments, other governments, other nation states will choose, member states will choose to have their own democracies back as well. We can cooperate on an international basis, we, we can have bilateral and multilateral agreements, but essentially the governments of the member states of Europe should govern themselves rather than be controlled by the supranational regime Brussels. Um, that is the essence of it. So once we've, I think, become an independent nation once again, I think we can decide things like the common fisheries policy, which I think has been recognised by most people as being a disaster. <clears throat> we can choose how and to what extent we, we subsidise our agriculture. We can choose what economic policies we, we, we have within our country. Um, and indeed, I think the economics of the European Union have been disastrous, as you can see from from um, uh, Greece and, and Spain uh, and elsewhere. Um, we are not quite in that, that situation, but I think we have had problems caused by the arrangement, the economic arrangements of the European Union. So once we can govern ourselves, I think life will be better for everyone, um, not just for in Britain, but I think uh, across Europe, the European Union as well. And I look forward very much to, uh, I say, as a referendum and the country voting for its independence.